Hey everyone, this is Gabe at Security Baron, and today we're unboxing the Simply Safe security system. Uh, we got the Summer Forge security system to be specific, and honestly, I know it comes with a lot of pieces. I don't even remember what all is inside, so uh, let's check it out. Let's open it. Pop this thing. I like that. Got that lawn decal everyone loves to have. And our setup guide. Ooh, a few little decals put on your window or something like that. All right, that's just uh, wrapping paper. Oh wow, lots of things in here. One keypad maybe for a front door, another keypad maybe for the back door. Key fob, motion detectors. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least seven little entry sensors. Oh, I like the, see the magnetism there. That's kind of cool. A siren, check that out there. Our Simply Cam, and your base station. Aha, I knew there was a stake in there. So here's a stake for the yard sign that we pulled out earlier. Let's get this large box out of the way. Now, keypads, motion detectors. Got our glass break sensor. I love this, by the way. So I actually want to start from small to big. So here, the entry sensors. Yeah. These are the entry sensors and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of these sensors. Got a panic button here. If you press and hold it down, uh, you can actually trigger your alarm. So if you happen to be uh, in one part of the house and have this on you and you see something going on and you want to scare someone or an intruder, uh, you just use this panic button. Oh, very cool. Now you got two keypads. I'm assuming one for the front and the back door, or the garage door, however you like. And you can put this directly onto your wall. Oh, that's pretty good. So there's no, there's no wires, which is great. So I guess you probably just set it up and you're ready to go. And we have a key fob, um, and this is great because it allows you to arm or disarm the system. Boom. So put that on your key, and you're ready to go. Let's check out one of these motion sensors. So typically the motion sensors you wanna put in a corner so it can kinda of see everything going on. Here's the motion sensor. This also has the adhesive and screws so you can set it up anywhere, high, low, and We've got a few of these motion sensors as well. So we'll definitely be able to make some moves with that. Let's look at our glass break sensor. So one thing they alert you to when you are looking at the box, they have these tips on the back of each one. Uh, this one talks about curtains dampening the sound of glass breaking, uh, because ultimately the way these glass break sensors work, um, I used to think that they work by literally just detecting the glass breaking, but uh, I eventually realized that they just detect the frequency of glass breaking. So if they hear your window being broken, um, the glass break sensor is what will alert you to that going on. So if you have curtains that can dampen that sound, uh, it may not work as well. So just think about that if you have heavy curtains in your house. And here's an extra siren. Ooh. Boom. This is here to help you scare people away. Here's the stake for your yard sign, put that down here. Now the cam has kind of an interesting design. It reminds me of the little Pixar lamp at the beginning of the videos. I remember that when Toy Story first came out and they had a little lamp that went by on the Pixar screen. Uh, it kind of looks like that. It's definitely unique. I don't think it looks anything like a lot of the other companies with their indoor cameras right now. Wow, I honestly don't know if I'd ever seen this before. Um, we unboxed it. It's really interesting. There's no swivel. I note that immediately there's no, or rather there's no rotation really. It does have a QR code, so I'm imagining that's how you set it up pretty quickly, kind of like the Google Nest Cam, all black. And that comes with an adapter and its own little setup guide. I mean, I'm, I'm actually pretty, pretty thrown by this. This uh, square design. Looks like there's a speaker on the back. And it looks like we have a microphone, so it's possible that it even has two-way audio. I do like that the lens is pretty flush. 
and you got a matte black with a little bit of gloss on the front. And then we get into what everyone sees in the commercials, the Simply Safe Hub. First thing we have is the power adapter. All right, let's get this thing out of here. Honestly, this might be the safest part of it all. Boom. Oh. Wow, I'm trying to think about what this looks like. If I'm completely, completely honest, it honestly reminds me of a nuclear power plant in miniature form. Yeah, it looks like a, it looks like a plant, but in miniature version. You know, I'm definitely not mad at it. I think it's pretty nice. Our power adapter. Imagine we'll go here. So you have speakers on the top. And this is your hub. Your entire Simply Safe system will run directly from this. All right. So here's everything that we have. And just to go through, this is our base hub, our base station for the Summer Forge security system. We've got our Simply Cam, our extra siren, one of our keypads, our glass brake sensor, a motion sensor, one of a couple of these, our entry sensor, one of eight of these, our panic button, one of our two key fobs, and of course, all our adapters. You can see the rest of those pieces right here on the left of me, still inside of the boxes. So this is what you get with the Summer Fort security system by Simply Safe. I think I got this. Let's set it up. When you're setting up the Simply Safe system, it's best to think about the process in three steps. And that first step is the Simply Safe hub. So you want to take this, put it in a central location, and just plug it in. That's the first part of the first step. Then you're going to want to focus on your wireless keypad. So here, and also I should also mention, you don't want to put this on the floor. You want it to be somewhere elevated. Now with the wireless keypad, you're gonna put it up, take off the adhesive, put it on the wall. Typically it's gonna be wherever you're, you're entering and leaving the home. Uh, so you can disarm it when you're walking out the door. Keep it simple, don't make it complicated. Now, the next thing you might wanna set up are your entry sensors. So your entry sensors, once again, are adhesive. You go to your door, you place it on each side of your little your hinge there and you'll get uh, an alert if anything happens. Then you might want to go into your motion detectors. Now motion detectors, also adhesive. You can also screw them on. There's screws that come in. You can place them into a corner of your room and then you'll have an idea uh, of what's going on. It'll, it'll sense any motion in and out. And it's got a pretty wide uh, perspective of 90 degrees. Then you want to put your glass break sensor within 20 feet of any of your windows. So you take the glass break sensor here and you, you take the adhesive, you place it up near a, a window and it'll listen for that frequency of glass breaking. You also wanna put your panic button in a location that you think you can get to. So if you're trying to make your siren go off or alert people to what's going on in the home, you'll put the panic button up and use the adhesive and you're ready to go. And finally, wherever you see um, wherever you want to see, rather, you'll jump in with your Simply Cam, and your Simply Cam basically goes on a flat surface. You can rotate it a bit. You'll want to plug it in with this uh, adapter and use the QR code to set it up within the app, and you're ready to go. So, those are the first two levels of setting up your Simply Safe system. The final step in setting up your Simply Safe security system is setting up the active monitoring because that's one of the things you get with Simply Safe is you can have a professional monitoring service watching your home. Now to set it up, you go to simplysafe.com backslash activate. You should know your serial number, uh, set up your Wi-Fi, and know that the first 72 hours or three days of your system will be practice mode. That way you don't accidentally have the police come into your home when you set it off because you're not quite familiar with the system yet. So that's the final step for setting up Simply Safe security system in your home. So that's our first look at the Summerfort security system by Simply Safe. If you appreciated this video, 
give us a like and hit that subscribe button. As always, this is Gabe at Security Baron. Be secure.